Hello guys and welcome to a video you guys have been waiting for a long time. Behold, version 2 of my multi-item sorter. Yes, yes, finally guys. <laughs> you have been asking me so much for this. I get DMs all the time about this and commentaries all the time about this thing. So it took me a long time. This thing takes a lot of energy to do and to, to plan. But finally, I have a design uh, that sorts for multiple items. So in case you don't know exactly what it is, for instance, here, uh, there's a diamond block, but actually it sorts for all kinds of ore. So if you want a system that sorts uh, different items to the same slots, you can do this. So this slot here sorts for flowers and things from nature. I don't know exactly, but for vines and different types of flowers lily pads you know uh, and it's very useful uh, because sometimes there are a bunch of items that we don't get enough of them uh, and it's good to have all of them in one chest for instance the ores uh, diamonds uh, most commonly we don't get a lot of diamonds so uh, it's a good idea to have those beacons and things like that you know or even if you if you want bulk storage for your different colors of uh, concrete and things like that. So they will all sort to one single slot. This is what a multi-item sorter does. So let's see this in action and then I will show you guys the redstone and then I'll explain to you how the different components of this thing work. Uh, let's try something like, uh, let's, let's try this with the spruce logs and maybe some, yeah, some rails, like those rails in here. So those should get back to the system. Uh, yeah, I had hidden input in here. Okay, throw those items in there. I can close the chest. Uh, and that's it. The system is mostly silent, but I, uh, to, in order to make the system work, I decided to drop a little bit of my standards uh, because I needed to get this thing done. I really want to use this thing in survival, uh, which is why I, I, I'm tired of stalling, you know? So it's not completely silent, it's not as compact as I would like it to be, but it's absolutely functional. It sorts out, oh ha, huh, pun intended, uh, all the problems of the previous systems. Uh, by the way, it's sorting for this. I added a bunch of indicators now. So you can see that uh, the, the powered rails, uh, rails are getting in here. Soon enough, uh, the, the wood's going to be sorted. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's it solves a lot of the problems that I had with my previous system. Uh, where I couldn't deal with items that weren't uh, listed. So for instance, I have now this uh, row in here, which sorts for items that are not listed in the system. So there's no sorter for gold blocks, for instance. Uh, and what the system does is, yeah, if it, if it can't find anywhere to put it, it puts everything in here. Uh, it never gets stuck or anything. It's really, really fast. My previous system was extremely slow, dependent on randomness. I actually made a version to you that um, very few people knew about. I posted a few pictures on Twitter. Uh, the system is really compact and fast and it uses a crazy, uh, a crazy method. Like every time it makes a mistake, it changes the dynamic sorter. So it, it tries to correct itself dynamically until it finds the correct item to be. Uh, but it's, you know, it's very demanding on the system. And the system is really, this, this new one is really lightweight, really fast as you guys will see. Uh, let's check on the wood stuff. So yeah, wood gets sorted back and rails are fine. And this is how it works, guys. So yeah, this is the redstone for the system. As you can see here, we have uh, the sorters configured for all kinds of stuff. So all uh, redstone components go uh, on one section, then uh, different types of wood, uh, types of cooked food and good food, I don't know, uh, rails. So yeah, if you want to include anything with those things, like if I want to include chests, for instance, I just need to take out one of those uh, items. Those can be renamed items. I just use this because this is easy to do in creative, but uh, you should use any item that you want to uh, rename in here and then place a chest. And now this, uh, this entire section here is going to sort for uh, flowers and chests for <laughs> any reasons that I really want. You don't actually need to fill those uh, those slots. Those can be empty, but uh, if you fill all of those slots, it's easier to keep track of what's going on. Uh, and in the end, you need those those stacks and five of those as well, uh, just so you can balance the signal strength. Because as you can see, what we do here is, is we control the signal strength. Because the system works like this: we have a minecart here uh, with all these slots, the hopper minecart with all these slots filled. And uh, uh, once it detects items inside this chest, which is the input chest, 
uh, it's going to drop one of these items and then uh, fill it up with uh, as many items as long as it's not a full stack uh, i can demonstrate actually why don't i have items on me <laughs> oh i actually do actually do ah awesome okay so if i put like 32 glass in there let's let me try to focus on the mine car so you guys can see it better let's try the the poppies all right so drop the poppies watch the mine car so the first lot's going to be filled with those, and now the minecart is going to try and find where to put the poppies. It's, it happens really fast. When it finds it, so it takes the item out of it, out of here. So it takes out the, the poppies, and then it drops all the items, including the non-stackable items. You guys will see what's going to happen. So yeah, gets rid of everything. Then the minecart returns to its uh, spot, and then uh, the system is done. Yeah. Uh, let me show you this again so you guys can see let's let's try something that goes here um let's try the 32 uh, these 32 in here and then uh, you can see what happens to the to the sorting so it's going to get the the black the black uh, concrete and then it's going to return the black concrete and then uh, all the other items are going inside uh the 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 sorting system including once again the unstackable items what happens is uh, it drops it drops all the items in there and when when you see this thing flashing it's basically uh the uh, unstackable item filter so if if the item supposed to be there it goes in there you can see the our 32 black concrete which god knows why they they decided not to stack with those maybe because the hopper is located here instead of there <laughs> and if it's an unstackable item instead of going through this path it goes through this path so it goes to this hopper line, which can also be water streams or whatever you want. I just use it hopper line here because uh, I want this to be also buildable in the nether. And then it goes to the item elevator all the way up and back inside the chest where it falls you know, inside the, the hopper my cart. And those, uh, as long as they are unstackable items, they can be anything. They don't need to be discs. It can be cake. It can be... Uh, swords that you get from the pigs in the nether, <laughs> anything, uh, the, the zombie pigmen in the nether, anything you want really. Uh, so let's see how it deals uh, with uh, items that are more than one stack. So if I place an entire stack in here, let's see what happens to the mine cart. Okay, it gets 61 items. It's never a, what a entire stack because it, it, if it has an entire stack, there's no way it can pull items from here because the mine cart is going to be full already so yeah this is also taken into account and dropping the items is uh, currently a little bit slow because it uses only one hopper but i intend to make this a little bit faster in the future but the things that i that i want to do in the future to the system are things that i want to discuss in the end of the video so yeah it's done it's going to return but there are more items to be picked up so it's going to do this now it's really fast it has three items to deliver still so it's going to do this, and now there, there are no more items to be picked up, so it rests. <laughs> it's an amazing system, guys. I'm really, really happy with uh, how, how fast this thing works now. And now I'm going to show you how it deals with items that, uh, that have no sorter. So uh, glass, there are no sorter for glass, uh, glass blocks. So quickly gets all the items, and now it's going to go through all of those guys, not find anything, and it's going to drop the glass in here where uh, unsorted items are and uh, yeah there you go guys so the system really uh, sorts out all of the problems of the previous system it's really fast uh, it's stable I tested it with tons of items uh, it never broke mm, yeah it has the indicators and a decent interface I think it's uh, compact and good looking uh, I'm not happy with the size of this thing I think it can be more compact and some features of the system I think I think they can be simplified. Uh, I have been working with a, a, a new a new system for the, the minecart delivery system. Uh, when the minecart comes uh, empty, here there are, are those stackable items, and here are the items that you want to pick up. And then you send the minecart. Going to pick up a few items, and uh, once it comes back, there you go, 61 items. And uh, this the system would be a more direct way of doing this. But this is something that I want to improve in the future because if I keep tweaking the system, I will never release it, all right? But uh, be sure that I, I have tested this thoroughly. This works fine. This this works perfectly, uh, except with mods. I tried it with Forge and uh, with the World Edit um, mod because I, I wanted it to expand the system and make it easier for me. But as it turns out, uh, if you use Forge, 
uh, when you take an item out of this out of this chest it doesn't update the comparator so because the comparator doesn't get updated the the system doesn't know that it needs to turn the rails which is really weird uh, and let me show you guys this in more detail but i think I, I think this could be useful so i want you guys to watch the lamp as well as the rail so when an item is taken from this let's take the birch log you see the lamp turns on and the rail turns at the bottom of the screen so this is how the system works uh yeah minecart minecart gets an item this turns then uh yeah item is distributed but one of the items is always returns to the sorter so the sorter are the sorters are never broken uh, and then down here we deal with uh, unstackable items and return the unstackable items to this chest in here so yeah yeah i think it's a very simple system uh in terms of concept and for sure i will do this i will do a version two of this by the way this is a uh this is a something i'm testing as well which is a fast uh transportation line that uses only dropper transportation so the item jumps from here to here without passing through those uh in terms of time of course it goes through but uh in terms of time it's instant and then it goes to this item elevator this, those are things that i still need to, to uh, work on but yeah the map download is going to be available and once again i ask uh your for your uh feedback if you guys want to give me any feedback about this uh if you guys also want a, a block by block tutorial i think i can do this this time uh, but first i want uh, you guys to test the system because i this once again this is something that i really intend to use in survival i want a silent or a silent enough um multi-item sorter that does everything that you saw in here that's easy to build uh and that is uh, above everything stable <laughs> that i don't have trouble building or anything uh, i also during the tutorial i want to i want to talk about a few details uh and uh yeah the only thing that you need to know is that uh this the, the entire setup with these chests in here needs to output a signal strength of two out of this comparator right so uh if you break this and you place redstone dust in here uh, all you need to make sure is that you if you look at the right corner of the screen that it says power level two and those uh, cannot be on subtraction mode and if you do that with the double chest you're going to be fine so if you want to include more items in here remember to take one item off and then place the new item that you want sorted also if you want to deal with um unstackable uh, i mean uh, items that stack up to 16 like uh ender pearls right or snowballs or signs or anything that stacks up to 16 you can do this by removing four items so uh, if you do this once again if you, if you take one item it always needs to turn on the lamp uh, so if you put uh, the, the snowball in you take it out it's going to do this right but if you use more than one item that stacks to 15 and you do this see there's no reaction because you need to remove four items so you can do this like so you you've uh you have to remove you we have to remove eight items for those two we've removed only two so let's remove six items so one two three four five six all right so now if we remove this item it turns on the lamp if we remove this other item it also uh, also turns on the lamp so yeah just make sure to if if it stacks to 16 you remove four items if it stacks to 64 remove only one item from the entire thing um uh, i think i mentioned everything right how it works on forge uh how it yeah the limitations i think i think that's all guys please give me some feedback on how it's working it's working perfectly for me i think i think the system is ready to go but of course i will do some improvements over time and, and have a new version of this but i'm happy to announce that finally we have a working version of this system and uh, it looks good works fast uh, and there's a practical system to have so for now guys thank you very much for watching uh, don't forget to leave a comment or like the video if this was useful to you and hope to see you soon goodbye